you will need a flyback transformer which you can salvage from old CRT TVs a CFL bulb circuit and a wire you can salvage these from old CRT bulbs which are fairly cheap to find my is 11 watt but the value doesn't matter but don't take a circuit which is above 25 watts this is the AC input so we have to connect these two wires to here like so and please remember to make uh, to add electrical tape around it and remember the polarity doesn't matter so you can connect whichever wire you want but take in mind that there should not be there should only be these two pins and not the third third one the big one is the ground so we should not connect that now connect these two solder these two wires and attach alligator clips to them now take your flyback transformer and there should be 10 pins so you will have to identify them or you can search with their number which is here but it is very hard to find and you can test it with the multimeter there are many tutorials on this so i don't i don't think i need to explain that after you have measured the resistance the pins with the highest resistance are the ones you should be connected you should be connecting them to so take your alligator clips and connect them to the highest resistance pins I have attached alligator clips so that when it is possible to change uh, the change the pins so you can experiment with them. But please take in mind this can heat up very fast. So we'll need a heat sink or an ice cube. Now you can plug the wire in the outlet and make sure to plug in the below outlet and not the above one because it would not work properly. Now we can start the circuit. But a note of caution that high voltage is pretty dangerous and can properly kill you. But if you follow the safety measures, you could be safe. This circuit doesn't provide enough um, volt, enough amperes to kill you. But in you can use gloves to handle the wire, so don't get shocked. Don't get shocked, and make sure the rubber, uh, gloves are of rubber. And also before starting the circuit, make sure you put heat sinks or ice cubes over these transistors because they heat up really fast. Now starting the circuit in 3, 2, 1. As you can see our work, work circuit works perfectly. So thanks for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like the video, you can make sure to subscribe.